Do you hear that sizzling of deliciousness? That combination is heavenly. Squid Game Biscuits! Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Annabelle based in Sydney. I'm on a quest to find food that is both delicious and healthy. I've been on OMAD for about two years. I haven't had food for over 27 hours. Can't wait to get some food. Today we're going to sit in Chinatown night market for some street food. Every time I know I'm going to a night market, I'm like, yes! At the entrance, there are fresh cane juice and fruits, like Wawa's, where they display fresh fruit and veggies at the entrance to drive home the message that they are the fresh food people. Look at how big that light is. Huge cherries. And then we were presented with fluff toys, hair accessories, Ugg boots, and someone's coggy. Hello. Oh, hello. Oh. You're so cute. Oh, that looks really sweet. Oh, they have earrings. Yeah, you definitely need one of those gloves to protect yourself. Yummy. Now we mean business. This is where the food starts. These are skewers. There's some veggie skewers, mushrooms, coriander, potato. Okay, it looks nice but starchy. Wow. Oh, do you hear that? The sizzling of deliciousness. Looks really good. Japanese takoyaki. Hi. <laughs> oh, some friendly faces. Let me take a look first. Thank you. Salmon, please. Having some ingredients from their fridge. For them to set up here, they have to prepare their own fridge, set up this whole tent. And the decoration. I think it's for Christmas. It's Christmassy. Oh, there's some cheese. Yum, I like cheese. Oh, that looks like smoked salmon. Don't that one for you. Uh, yeah. yeah. Thank you so much. No worries. Oh, healthy spinach. <laughs> nice. Wow, it smells so fragrant. Oh. Thank you. Bye bye. Crepe tasting time. Nice and alternating layers of crepe and salmon. Kind of satisfying to cut through. Mm, it's really good. Mm. Oh wow. The skin is tree fragrant from the Milad reaction. With a subtle but beautifully balanced egg and cheese aroma. The smoked salmon is salty and smoky. When you bite into it, it's layered. The texture is it's very interesting in that for every bite, you, you get alternating layers of the crepe and smoked salmon. The mixed flavors are consistent. The crepe is it's a thin tree. It gives the mushy smoked salmon a little bite to it. The pancake balances out the saltiness of the smoked salmon for you. And then towards the end, you get a little bit of crunchiness from fibrous spinach. At the end, what lingers on your tongue is the the herbal aroma of the leaves. The best element of that bite is the initial aroma. When you first put it in your mouth, the volatile compounds just travel to the back of your throat and upwards into your nose. Your nose and mouth are filled with this caramel aroma. Then you bite into the smokiness of the salmon. Wow, that combination is heavenly. Let's go back to more street food. Oh, skewers. A lot of spice there. That looks chewy. Oh, by the way, this is a really nice dessert place. I'm going to feature in one of my videos in the future on this channel. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, these people are so friendly. Nice. How pretty. Oh, it looks healthy, but sweet. <laughs> oh, more blues. Mine's the prettiest. Oh, look at these. Squid Game biscuits. Oh, soaps. Oh, cheese. Oh, smell me. Okay, we're gonna smell you. 
Okay, no, it doesn't smell like cheese. I'm coming to your channel for food, girl. Okay, okay, but it's so fun. Let's keep going. Oh, more skewers. Oh, the charcoal smell is so appetizing. Look at the charcoal underneath there. Smoky. There's a small queue there. I'm not surprised because the smell is just so attractive. It's doing all the advertising for them. We ordered 10 lamb skewers. When it comes to skewers, I feel lamb is the best. There are some lean and fat pieces on there. It's seasoned with chili powder, cumin, salt and pepper. Well, the charcoal flavor is on point. So I just had a little bit of lean and a little bit of fat in the one mouth put together. That's how skewers should be eaten. The fat and the lean, they complement each other. After you swallow them, the aromas of the spices lingering in your nose and mouth making you want to keep eating. The cumin really brings out the lamb flavor. I have to say, the cumin is what really brings it to the next level. Back to the market. Oh, look at these. I used to eat these when I was little. These are sour and sweet. Oh, these are modified version of it. Usually they use hawthorn, but these are strawberry. And hawthorn is supposed to be super sour, like these ones. Oh, there's mandarin on there as well and grapes. Grapes should be sweet. Oh, look at these pictures. They look fluffy. Yeah, I feel like these bread is waving at me. But I can't have them because it's too much carbs. <laughs> Seafood paella. Look at how big that wok is. Oh my god. Welcome to Mickey's Paella every Friday in Chinatown Market. Look, come. Very traditional <laughs> recipe from Spain and seafood paella. Very nice. famous. Nice. This is East Ocean. My last video is about East Ocean seafood. So good. If you're interested, check out my last video. I'll link it at the top right corner, also in the description below. They're not only good at seafood, their yum cha is quite popular as well. Not only because they're colorful, but also because I've tried before and I know how good their quality is. Yeah, I'm definitely getting some of these tonight. Oh, that box is my favorite. I got 10 shao mai. At the top, it looks like there's prawn, mushroom, pork, and shao mai ski. Mm. It's as good as I ever remembered. It's juicy and there's a little bit of firmness from the prawn pieces. The shiitake mushroom flavor combined with the porkiness and the seafood, they're just blending together perfectly. The best part about this shomai is that there's good quantity of prawn in there. The texture is dense but smooth and springy, like a bouncy fishbowl. Kind of fun to bite into it. There are three textures in there. Consistent texture of pork meats, snappiness of the prawn meat, treeness from shiitake mushroom, and all that combined with the dominant pork flavor. Great combination of sensations. The pork meats is so perfectly seasoned. Just the right level of pepperiness and saltiness. This brings us to the end of the walk. Night market holds a special place in my heart. Food experience is more than what we put in our mouth. It is the sound of cooking wetting your appetite. The smells wafting into your nostrils. The close proximity to fellow foodies having a good time. Allow yourself to soak in the energy in the hustle around you. Let the cooking skills impress you. Let the boutique shops amuse you. And let the smiles warm your heart. Food tastes better this way. The three items I sampled today taste special. Particularly this place. Your smiles and waves made me feel we were friends even though we had never met before. Your passion in what you do showed in your cooking. I tasted it. Please accept the sincere love and support from my channel. Good night, everyone.